remember, you're probably making plans to carve that pumpkin soon. But before you do, you want to make sure you have some plans on what to do with the insides of your pumpkin. Christina Montoya with El Paso Water joins us once again to explain what you should do. Welcome, Christina. Thank you, Susie. Well, we love Halloween, as I'm sure everybody does, um, and we love carving pumpkins. But if you don't dispose of what's inside your pumpkin properly, you could end up with a really big mess inside your house. So I carved a pumpkin over the weekend, and obviously there was a mess all over the table. But what kind of mess <laughs> are you talking about? Well, this is an additional kind of mess. If you throw the pumpkin pulp and the seeds down the garbage disposal that we've heard many people do try to do, it could end up giving you some very clogged pipes. And that means you could have a wastewater overflow in your kitchen and the rest of your home. We've even heard stories of people flushing the seeds down the toilet. Um, and that, of course, could result in a lot of overflow of a lot of nasty things that I won't talk about. Um, so to avoid any problems in your home or even your neighborhood, try toasting and just eating the pumpkin seeds. Or you can even use the pulp for compost. And if all else fails, just bag up the pumpkin guts, throw them in your garbage bag, and throw them away. Because clogged pipes are really not a good thing to experience at any time of the year, especially at Halloween. I love eating pumpkin seeds. Now, yes. how can we learn more of these water tips? Well, you can always go to epwater.org and click on conservation. There we have some more tips on uh, conserving water indoor and outside. You'll see some buttons there that you can click and see all kinds of tips and videos. All right. Thank you once again, Christina. We'll see you back here next week.